Hello, dear friends! In 1942, during the Battle of Stalingrad, the Sverdlovsk tank builders decided to create their own Eurostank corps. On the 16th of January 1943, in the newspaper Euler Worker, an interesting article was published. Its name was Tank Corps Over the Plan. It said that the workers of the Ural plans pledged to overrun the plan of military production and send a part of their earnings to equip the corps with combat vehicles, weapons and uniforms. The following letter was sent to Moscow. Expressing the noble patriotic desires of the Euralians, we ask you, Comrade Stalin, to allow us to form a special volunteer Ural tank corps. On the 24th of February 1943, the telegram in reply came. Your proposal to form a special volunteer Ural 10 Corps is approved and welcomed. The order was given to help you in the selection of command staff. This was written by Joseph Stalin. After receiving this telegram, the military registration and enlistment offices received a great number of people willing to fight in the volunteer corps. Only among the workers of factories, who were eligible to not participate in the enlistment, more than 100,000 people were ready to fight. The competition was 12 people per place. Conscription Commission selected 9,660 people. These were future personnel of tank corps. All over the Urals, people were collecting money for the corps fund. Over 70 million rubles were collected. This money was used to purchase military equipment, armament and uniform from the government. On the 11th of March 1943, the corps was given a name – 30th Ural Volunteer Tank Corps. There were 202 T-34 tanks, 70 T-70 tanks, 68 BA-64 armored vehicles, 16 SU-122, 8 Katyushas and also a lot of artillery and mortars. The 30th Euro Volunteer Tank Corps also had another name the Germans gave it – Schwarzmesser Panzer Division or Black Knife Division. Black Knife is the folk name of the Army Knife of 1941, which during the war was produced by the Zlato Stoll factory. This is the so-called Finca with a straight single blade, a wood handle with an iron handguard and a wooden scabbard. The handle and scabbard were coated with black lacquer, and the iron elements of the scabbard and handguard were blued, hence the name of this knife. These knives in the outfit of the Ural tank crews immediately drew the attention of the German frontline reconnaissance. The Soviet fighters were aware of their nickname and were proud that the enemy distinguished their tank corps from many others. Wehrmacht soldier G. Berg wrote about the soldiers of this corps in his diary. Ural devils showed in front of us again. We know them too well from our previous fights. They are persistent and continue fighting even if they are badly wounded. The corps took its first battle on the 27th of July 1943, taking part in the Battle of Kursk as part of the 4th Tank Army. After three months of fighting, the 30th Euros Volunteer Ten Corps was transformed into the 10th Guards Euros Volunteer Ten Corps. On the 18th of November 1943, in a solemn atmosphere, its units and formations received the Guards' banners. The first hero of the Soviet Union in these ten corps was the tank commander of the 61st Guard Sverdlovsk Tank Brigade, Grigory Sergeyevich Chesak, who shot down three Tiger tanks in one battle. The 10th Guard's 10 Corps went with fighting from Oral City to Prague. Their tanks covered 5,500 kilometers on its tracks. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye everyone, see you later.